everybody. I'm Claire Messina. I work in uh, the UN at OCHA. Uh, I'm in charge of humanitarian leadership, that is, uh, in particular, of humanitarian coordinators, making sure that they are as good as possible. So, um, I, I'll, uh, I guess I've already <laughs> wasted half a minute on this. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, ah, uh, yes, but people on this, um, who are online may not know that. Um, oh, I agree with everything that all the other speakers have said, so instead of just repeating it, which would uh, um, uh, make it very boring, I will just uh, tell you what uh, one of the senior UN leaders, uh, humanitarian leaders, uh, recently told me. Um, and he said, you know, yeah, leadership, uh, it's yeah, all of what uh, Sarah said, you know, all, all of the super essential vision, etc. But in the end, in his view, boils down to two very personal characteristics, courage and persistence. You know, courage to make tough decisions, etc., and persistence, you know, persisting uh, when faced with uh, adversity. And if you think, I mean, again, that's an opinion, of course, you know, we could, uh, I'm not saying this is a fact, but uh, if you think of that, uh, that these are personal characteristics. Um, which you, all of us, have or don't have, uh, uh, starting from birth, you know, when we were children. So the, then the question is, uh, uh, I'd, I'd, I'd like to throw a question to the, to the audience as opposed to, you know, giving the, uh, tr trying to give the answer is, uh, um, you know, the age-old question, is leadership acquired? Or can you, can you uh, uh, train leadership? Uh, you can to a certain extent, but should we also be uh, modest, uh, those of us who are in the leadership business, and realizing that some, in s to some respects, uh, in some respects, uh, leadership is about uh, who you are. And so I'll just finish by saying, for me, leadership, the, the reason I'm interested in working on leadership, it's because it's about bringing people, individual, back to the workplace. It's about people. You know, um, we more and more in this m uh, environment, we think about projects, uh, you know, matrices, uh, lock frames, uh, you know, very rational uh, pro procedures, mechanisms, you know, the humanitarian reformers, it's all a lot of it. But leadership is about people, and it's very subversive if you think of it, because uh, bureaucracies are predicated on the assumption that people are replaceable. And leadership is just crying in the opposite direction and saying, no, people are not replaceable. Somebody, a leader le leaves a certain context, something, you know, yeah. that you, you feel it, you can feel it. So I'll stop, I'll stop at that. It's about people. Yeah. Well, I actually realized that you, you, ha you have moved exactly as, we had, as mm -hmm. was planned into our next part, which is about uh, the, the current day leadership and challenges. And on my list, you have another five minutes to oh. talk about that. But if you cut it to three, it would be very nice. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll, uh, I won't. I can um, meet my deadline. Yeah, uh, yeah, I was trying to condense yes, my yes. three, uh, my three uh, slots. I so didn't want, to, want uh, to add take. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, one of the questions I was asked and I didn't yeah. answer is: yeah. uh, um, Are there a lack of leader in the in leaders in the humanitarian yes. sector? Yes. I don't think so. I think um, you know there's a bell curve in the humanitarian sector, as in every other sector. The the question, I, and I, I don't think that's the right question to ask. I, I think the question to ask is: Is the humanitarian sector enabling leadership? Um, uh, and, and that brings back to my earlier point. Uh, uh, okay, uh, uh, the is is uh, are we over bureaucratizing the way we do business so much so that uh, the creativity, the courage uh, that uh, that usually are associated with uh, uh, leadership are are constrained? I will leave it at that, and so that we have more time well for that discussion. That wonderfully opens the way about the whole question of whether leadership. Are in post-crisis environment is itself in crisis, and is there a real problem about about leadership, and 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 you know how to engage communities in this process? Um, and I think at this point I'll ask Sultan to to address these questions. Thank you very much. For a